Number three, step forward. <laughs> Stand up straight. Hands at the side. Now speak in your normal voice. What would you like me to say? <laughs> say anything. What'll I say? This is the Joey Bishop show. <laughs> Boy. Joey, Joey, Joey. The Joey Bishop show. Starring Joey Bishop. Also starring Abby Dalton with Corbett Monica, Joe Besser, Mary Treen, and introducing Matthew David Smith as Joey Barnes, Jr. What are you trying to do, Hilda? Scare me out of my skin? You know I'm nervous today. Do me a favor, will you please? Walk around with a bell around your neck so I'll hear you when you're coming. I did call you, but you didn't hear me. You better buy a new vacuum. This is too noisy. It is not too noisy. Then we have very noisy dirt. It's a great household. The comedian does the housework and the maid does the jokes. What is it, Hilda? I'm busy. I came to tell you there's a man on the telephone. Something about a baby hand laundry. Just tell the gentleman we won't need him. We intend to do the baby's hands ourselves. <laughs> I wish I worked for Bob Hope. He says better jokes. I wish I had his maid. She laughs at everything. <laughs> if you paid me as much as he paid his, I'd laugh too. That's good, Hilda. That's one for you. Oh, Mr. Barnes, just think, in an hour you're going to the hospital to pick up Mrs. Barnes and the baby. That's right, Hilda. Oh, it's so wonderful. Now, do you have everything ready, dusted, cleaned up? I have dusted, cleaned, and vacuumed here every 15 minutes since four hours ago. <laughs> well, it looks pretty good. Thank you. What is it, Inspector? You said you dusted, huh? Yes. This is dust. I can write my name. Congratulations. You spelled it right, too. <laughs> now, if you just go back and dot the I, I think we'll give you a hundred. Good girl. When you pick up Mrs. Barnes and the baby, you drive carefully. I will. Don't worry. Is Mr. Barnes home, Hilda? <laughs> You, I thought it was Hilda in slacks. When Hilda wears slacks, you'll know it's Hilda. <laughs> Why are you so late? Five minutes late. You're 20 minutes late. Oh, big deal. I'm 20 minutes late. A whole 20 minutes. Well, you stay right here. I'm going home to get a note from my mother. <laughs> I may find something for you to do around here. As a matter of fact, you can help me very, very well. Get over here. I want you to give me a hand. I would like to move this chest of drawers back this way just a little bit, okay? All right, what should I do? Well, first, get the lamp off of there, get rid of it. That a boy. Now, pick up your end. I can't pick up my end, I got the lamp in my hand. <laughs> get rid of the lamp. <laughs> okay, I got my end. Come on, pick it up, that's it. <laughs> just give me the lamp, stupid. Put it down over there on the floor, will you, please? All right? Now, okay, easy does it. Huh? I got it. Okay, oh. come toward me. Oh, boy. Keep coming. There it is. Okay. Ah, that's, that's good. I think we better move it out about a half an inch from the wall. No, I like it here. It looks nice. I think it looks nice, too, except my hand is being squashed against it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, Joey. Yeah? I just don't think the lamp looks good there. <laughs> yeah, put it back up there. Oh. Uh, you want to do me a little favor? Yeah. Just take the vacuum right over there and vacuum that spot where I just moved the chest of drawers from, okay? You've got it. I'll turn the mattress over. Hey, pal. Yeah? How does this work? 
flick the switch. Oh. Plug in the electric toaster, my shower turns off. <laughs> Just keep working. Hi, Larry. Hi, Joseph. Hi, hi, Mr. Barnes. I, I know you're bringing Mrs. Barnes and the baby home from the hospital today, so I brought her some beautiful germaniums. Germanium. 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 Next time, I'll bring her roses. <laughs> oh, isn't this pretty? Oh, uh, Jules. Yes, Mr. Listen, do Martin. me a favor, will you please? Do you a, a favor any time. time. I knew you wouldn't turn me down. Never. We're a little pressed for time, and uh, we've got to get to the hospital. Will you vacuum that little spot right there between the chest of drawers and the socket? It'll please? be a pleasure. Thank you very much. Believe me. <laughs> Just turn the light switch off. <laughs> turn off the radio. <laughs> what electrician hooked this up? I did. You mean you went through all this trouble just to get the vacuum to work? <laughs> trouble? Well, have you lost your pioneering spirit, Jilson? Where would this country be if it were men who were worried about trouble? Where would this country be today if it were uh, men like uh, uh, Thomas Edison? And Eli Whitney. Not to mention Robert Fulton. And Freddie Fuckenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Remember, you just got out of the hospital. Okay, I'll be careful. Easy now. All right, don't worry. Watch the step, dear. I see it. My goodness. Oh, Mrs. Barnes, it's so good to have you home. Thank you, Hilda. It's so good to be there. Oh, wait till you see him, Hilda. This thing, sweetheart, a year ago I carried you across that threshold, and today I'm carrying my son across that threshold. And before you know it, he'll be carrying his bride across the threshold, and they'll be carrying their son across the threshold. How do you like that? The baby's six days old, and already I'm a grandmother. You sure don't look it, I'll tell you that. Uh, give me the baby, and I'll put him to sleep in the nursery. You just got home, you're going to put him to sleep, Hilda? What do you want me to do? Bring him his pipe and slippers? <laughs> put him right here in the bassinet. Let him sleep right what here. What just happened? Oh, don't work for my gosh. I don't know how to handle a baby. Huh? Okay, don't cry around. Huh? I don't want to seem like the usual proud father, but is that a pretty kid or is that a pretty kid? Joey, he looks just like you. Thank you, Larry. Well, there's always plastic surgery. <laughs> oh, Hilda, I just can't wait till automation hits the home. <laughs> He really looks just like you, Mrs. Barnes. Oh. Thank goodness. Isn't there something you can do in the kitchen, Hilda, like look at a pickle and make it sour? <laughs> Come on, sweetheart, wake up. Give your godfather a smile. Come on. A little smile for your godfather. Oh, boy, father like son. Six days old, you taught him not to smile already. <laughs> no, he doesn't take after me. He just won't smile because he's embarrassed. Why is that? Well, he has no teeth. Very funny. You better get him a hat. He has no hair, either. Very funny. Very funny. Poor little baby. What poor little baby? Roses. Oh, I wonder who sent them. I can't imagine. Maybe there's a card. I'll go see. There is a card. To beautiful Ellie, there'll never be another. She's a wonderful wife, and now she's a mother. Oh, 
Do you? Remember the car I sent you on our first date? Roses are red, violets are blue, the flowers are on me, and the dinner's on you. <laughs> it was only a joke. Then why did I pay for the dinner? I don't do jokes for nothing. <laughs> Mrs. Barnes, I bought a gift for Joey. Oh, I have enough toys. Thank you, Hilda. <laughs> Joey Jr. Oh, I beg your pardon. Isn't that cute? Oh. Tweak his ear. All right. <laughs> I think she means the giraffe. Oh, well, I'll try. Brahms lullaby. <laughs> Brahms was my favorite. I'll bet you were his favorite, too. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, boss. <laughs> Oh, now, come on, sweetheart. Noises aren't going to wake the child up. Remember what I learned in expecting father school? Make all the noise you... Oh, those people upstairs, they know there's a new baby down here. Why don't they keep quiet? Now, just take it easy, Hilda. They're very nice people, and that's the first time they've ever made any noise. Now, I can't go up there and ask them to be quiet. Or maybe I'd like to ask them to put sneakers on their cat, too. <laughs> that's a very good idea. <laughs> don't think he won't. <laughs> Honey, can we wake him up? Wake him up? No, you can't wake him up. He's not supposed to wake up until he's hungry. My goodness, he's been sleeping all the time. Let him get up and eat something. No, 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 darling. A little tiny baby's sleep is much more important than food. Oh, he's going to be well rested, huh? Yes. It's beautiful. I can just see him when he's 15 years old. He'll be well rested and weigh nine pounds. <laughs> I'll go make him a bottle so that when he does wake up, everything will be ready for him. But don't you wake him up. Am I going to wake him up if you tell me not to? Mm. You make sure he doesn't wake him up. You're the godfather. That's a good job for you. Okay. No noise to wake the baby. All right. Come on, Hilda. All right there, Rip Van Winkle. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> As his godfather, I protest. Strict orders from your wife. We don't wake him up. Now sit down and relax. Just sit. Hey, don't forget you're an employee. Remember who's responsible for your bread and butter. Yeah, your wife. That's why you're not going to wake him up. <laughs> Just relax. He'll wake up. Away from that baby. Just fix him the blanket. Don't he... touch it. My kid. Just watch him. What do you want him to do? I don't know. He's been sleeping since we brought him home from the hospital. I'd like to see him give me a little wink something. <laughs> He's six days old. You want him to do push-ups? <laughs> <laughs> you kid, uh... <laughs> what are you doing? Well, like in the subway, you know, if somebody's asleep, if you stare at them, they wake up. <laughs> I'll tell you something, if I was that kid and knew I'd wake up and see that face, I'd rather sleep the rest of my life. <laughs> what do you want from him? He's active. Look how nice he's breathing. Up and down, up and down. <laughs> By the time he wakes up, I'll be sound asleep. <laughs> Lean back and close your eyes. What? Lean back and close your eyes. For what? It's inevitable. If a kid knows that two adults are in here sleeping, he'll wake up. <laughs> He's six days old. What does he know? They have a sixth sense about this. Don't ask me. Just close your eyes. Both of them. <laughs> Up. <laughs> will you please get out of the picture? I want to take a picture of my son. Move, move back, will you please? You'll get in plenty of them, don't worry. Oh, oh, this is great. Oh, he was doing like this. <laughs> Let me tap the bottom of the, of the bassinet. Maybe he'll smile. Good, good. I got a great shot of your foot. <laughs> I just know that you woke that baby up just so you could take his picture. I absolutely did not. He woke all by himself. Didn't he, Larry? That's right. Yes. Hey, sweetheart, while you got the pile, I'll tell you what you do. Get around the baby, okay? And I'll take a shot of the mother uh, giving the baby his first bottle since he's gotten home. Okay? okay? All right. All right. Where do you want me? Just there, be fine. Okay. Okay. Right here. Uh, honey, you got the bottle right in front of the kid's face. Oh, I'm sorry. That's better. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> Instead of here's mud in your eye, the kid will say, here's milk in your eye. <laughs> 
Will you get out of the picture, Larry, please? We'll be in plenty of them. Okay. A little smile, honey. That's good. Fine. Okay. Hilda next. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hilda, you get Come on, Hilda. Go ahead. That's it. <laughs> Hilda, either bend over or get the kid to stand up. Do one of us. <laughs> That's right. That's the first time I ever saw Hilda smile. I got a great caption for this picture. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Good, got it, Hilda. Okay, Godfather Larry, get in there, sneak in there, pal. That's it. Don't get... <laughs> what are you doing, though? So still camera, it's not moving. Move, move, what is all that? <laughs> don't get too close. I don't want the kid to think his Godfather's an anteater. Just <laughs> I got the title for this one, too. My Son Meets Pinocchio. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, it is a little big to know. Right? All right, hold a shot now. Good, got it. Yeah. Okay, now I want you to do me a favor, all right? Get a shot of Ellie and I standing by the crib. Okay, oh, sure. come on. Sure. Here you are. Here's Here the camera. Hilda, hold it. Okay? The proud parents. Come on, while he's still up. <laughs> I know this kid, he'll be asleep. And... <laughs> what kind of pose is that? I used to be a lifeguard. Take the picture, will you please? <laughs> Good. Okay. Now can we feed him? You certainly can. You hold the bottle. Like I'll pick him up. To hold it. Wait just a moment, Hilda. Don't you dare touch that kid without putting on a mask on your face. As far as he's picking on me again. Now listen. Now wait a minute, sweetheart. I meant nothing personal. I just wanted those masks like they have in the hospital, okay? Now go get the mask. Everybody's going to wear a mask. Go get the mask. Masks? Don't tell me you didn't buy any masks, Hilda. No, I didn't buy any masks. I didn't think they were necessary. How come? Because she didn't know she had a nutty boss that liked to play trick or treat. <laughs> All right now, Larry, it's his baby. If, he, if you're not nice, he's not gonna let you play with it. That's right. And nobody's gonna touch that kid unless they're wearing a mask. Well, so, I'll tell you, I'll give you a great suggestion. Get one mask for the kid and the rest of us won't have to wear one. <laughs> Why don't you write jokes like that for me on my show? Get back. Everybody back. Get away from the kid. Get away. Now, don't tell me, oh, for heaven. I'm running right down to the drugstore. I'm going to get a mask for all of us. All right. While you're down there, get me some more baby powder and oil. I won't be gone long, so I don't want anyone breathing around that baby. <laughs> That's an order. <laughs> Hold it till I get back. Why don't you hold up another neighborhood? 
I like this neighborhood. Get back, Shorty. Two other neighborhoods, and he's got to like this neighborhood. It's all right, officer. If you need a witness, I'll be glad to testify why I saw the whole thing. Let's have a big mouth who's got to say. I mean, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I, I saw you uh, threaten the druggist, and then the bullet went wild, and it hit that poor defenseless <laughs> woman. <laughs> Officers, what's the matter with you? All right, folks. All right, let's break it up now. Come on. The party's over. Let's go. Everybody out. Hey! Well, I'm sorry, I distinctly heard you say everybody out. Everybody but you. Now, if you just let me remove the mask, I'm sure you'll realize what a mistake it's been. All right, but uh, nice and easy. No fancy stuff, no tricks. No, no. Nice All and right. easy, no tricks. Take your time. Take it easy with the guns. All right, right you take your time. Okay. See, no tricks. Huh? <laughs> Don't you guys watch television? Don't you watch television? We're on car 54. I'm Moody, and he's Muldoon. Who, 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 who gets you? Hey, boss. Hello, Tonto. <laughs> What's this? You're not going to believe it. Every year they want me to do a policeman's benefit. Well, this year I refused, and they're getting ridiculous about it. Are you kidding? I'm his manager. I protect him. Get back there. Uh, I said Get I... those oh. <laughs> What's that? That's Miss Yo-Yo of 1963. Money, money, good. Well, I guess it's over for us. Stinky. Actually, this is all your fault. I paid you a hundred times after we did the Brinks job. Let's quit. No, why quit? We'll knock over the drugstore. It's an easy caper. Well, I hope you're satisfied. I'm telling you right now, I helped you break out of Folsom, but I'm not gonna help you break out of Sing Sing. <laughs> well, at least Lefty's getting away. Hey, Lefty, get away! <laughs>